the electrical system I have in my really simplified do-it-yourself truck camper shell. I made a different video that kind of showed the entire truck camper, but basically it's a shell. Um, I wasn't able to find a shell around me. I had a quick trip coming up to Montana to see my daughter, and I wanted something to be able to camp in. So I built a camper shell, uh, just bolted down to the truck. It's got double doors in the back, and uh, I just built modular furniture for the inside. So you can check that video out. But I had some people in the comments ask me about the electrical system, and so I wanted to go over that. One of my goals with the camper was to have a simplified electrical system that could run some 12 volt appliances. So I think I came up with that. Just inside the door of the camper, there is a fuse panel that's uh, behind this plywood panel. It's all trimmed out in cedar. It's got a couple of 12 volt plugs and a couple of switches in it. Uh, those two switches run a couple of my 12 volt appliances. So I've got four different 12 volt things running here. Uh, two of them are switched, uh, porch lights and interior puck lights. So my four appliances are, I've got four interior puck lights in the ceiling that run off that switch. I've got a couple of outside porch lights that illuminate the back off the second switch. I've got a 12 volt fan uh, that's an exhaust fan in the ceiling. And the last thing is a 12 volt reading light that's got a toggle switch on it. You can also plug a USB into that as well. And all of those are running off of a Blue Eddy solar uh, uh, power station. So I really put some thought into what I wanted to power this with. I knew I didn't have a whole lot of appliances I wanted to be running. Um, I've built a teardrop camper and some other things that had much more complicated electrical systems that had batteries and chargers and things like that. I knew that in a truck, my space was gonna be limited. I wanted to be able to power some simple 12 volt things. I wanted to be able to charge it from AC. Uh, I wanted to be able to potentially charge it from solar and I wanted to be able to charge it from 12 volt. And so the nice thing about this was everything was in one little box. Um, and so this is what I went with. It is a Blue Eddy EB70S 800 watt power station. In terms of output, it's got uh, two DC outs, or sorry, for DC out, it's got two USBs, two USB-Cs. It's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter and two 12 volt ports that I'll talk a little bit more about in a second. For AC, it has four 110 outlets, and then you can charge it via solar, which I do not have. You can charge it via AC or 12 volt. <clears throat> so I initially thought these DC out things were kind of kind of silly. But I ended up finding a pretty good use for them. If you look at any kind of your 12-volt uh, uh, AC appliance at home that plugs into something, it's probably got some kind of plug like this on it. So I took a little desktop dehumidifier that uh, had an AC-DC transformer on it, it, you know, plugged into the wall. Took a look at the transformer. It was rated for 12 volts, so I clipped the AC plug off of it, soldered on a DC output that plugged into this solar generator and so I'm now able to run that dehumidifier off of DC off of this uh, power station. So again this power station is what's providing all the power for my 12 volt appliances. Um, it's got a cigarette lighter port on it and that's where you, where you power things from. And so that all runs back to one of these outputs uh, inputs in my uh, fuse panel. And so I ran it into the top one there. And so what you've got is you got power coming in from the Blue Eddy via a male to male uh, cigarette lighter cable. One end plugs into the Blue Eddy and the other end plugs into that 12 volt cigarette lighter port on the fuse box. So again, you're taking your power from the Blue Eddy and now you're gonna deliver it to a fuse block, which is buried up inside of here. So this is just a simple six space blue C fuse block. Uh, you got a bunch of other wires in there that I'll talk about in a second that are running uh, some running lights and turn signals on the camper. Uh, but for the most part, I'm taking the positive from the Blue Eddy 12 volt plug, I'm running it to that 12 volt adapter and then to the positive terminal on the fuse block. Again, I'm taking the negative or the ground from the Blue Eddy via that 12 volt plug and connecting it to the grounding terminal on the fuse block. 
from there, I've got a bunch of uh, four circuits that run the, the puck lights, the porch lights, the fan, and the reading light. And those are all connected to fuses on the fuse block. And then the grounds all connect to the ground bar. And that's really it for the 12 volt end of this system. Um, and again, it's all hidden behind uh, that little cedar panel. What I really wanted to be able to do though was while I was driving, because I was putting in you know 10 hours a day driving from Michigan to Montana, I wanted to use the battery from the truck to charge the power station. And so this Blue Eddy has got uh, three different ways to charge. You can charge via solar, AC or 12 volt. I do not have solar panels. Maybe I'll add them sometime and I'll be able to use them here. For AC, I just stuck a simple uh, RV AC adapter on the side of the camper. Uh, I plugged it on the inside into a power strip. And the couple of nights I was at a campground that had power, I was able to grab some power from the pole and uh, charge things and run the, all the appliances through that. What's really unique though is the way I, ran, I charged the 12 volt from the truck. So on the truck, I took the seven pin trailing wire harness and I bought a three foot pigtail. And then I also bought a, another uh, kind of adapter, a female uh, for the back of the camper. And so there's the pigtail. And then that's what I bought for the back of the camper. So again, that, that's got all of the wires, uh, you know, to run turn signals, uh, brakes, all that kind of stuff. But it also has your constant 12 volt hot coming out of the truck. So I took this thing, I threw all that stuff away. I needed to modify it to fit into my wall. So I took it apart and hacked the back off to make it the depth that I needed it. And then I screwed it into the camper. And so again, you're just taking the 12 volt from the truck and you're running it to that uh, seven way in the back of the camper. And that all runs in at the bottom of this little piece of cedar raceway that I built. Um, and again, that's just a piece of raceway that's taking all those wires up into my fuse panel. The back of that, I just howled out a piece of cedar, uh, put a dado in the back of it and ran the wires right there up the wall. So the wires come out of the, out of the truck basically, and then they're running up into the fuse box. So they come in right there and then seven pin has got uh, running lights. It's got your constant 12 volt hot. It's got right and left turn. It's got backup lights, brakes. Um, it's got a ground and it's got left stop lights. And so I don't have a trailer here. So obviously the trailer breaks one. I just cut the blue wire off. Um, and then for the running lights, the turn signals and the backup lights, those all run up into the fuse blocks. I label them all. And from there, those wires run to the wires that I put on the outside of the camper. So I've got some amber running lights in the front and in the front corners. I got red running lights in the back corners and then the back of it has uh, some multi-function stop, reverse and turn signal lights. So the other two wires here are your constant hot and your ground. And so I also took those into the fuse panel and the ground I just connected to the ground bar of my camper and so that way uh, whenever you've got that pigtail plugged in, all of the 12 volt and everything you have wired into the truck is grounded through that ground. For the 12 volt hot, I connected it to this bottom 12 volt plug. So the, the constant 12 volt hot running out of the truck uh, is running into that cigarette lighter plug on the bottom. Uh, so this is kind of what we have going on. These are all the, the different things that are involved in putting this together. So you have the, uh, the wiring harness on the camper, uh, which is running to the 12-volt uh, adapter. 
and then it is running to the blue eddy, and then you've got a negative that's connecting to the negative bar. So what happens is the power comes out of that 12 volt, the pos that that 12 volt hot from the seven way adapter is connected to the positive end of the cigarette lighter adapter. And then the Blue Eddy comes with a plug, uh, it plugs into the Blue Eddy and it plugs into a cigarette lighter adapter. And so you're grabbing the power from the truck and you're passing it through that port into the Blue Eddy. That port then also has a negative end on it and that negative end is connected back to the ground in the fuse block. Uh, so that's how I'm able to power the, the Blue Eddy while I'm driving the truck um, to go from a charge of Oh, 20% to 100% probably took me about four hours of driving. So not ideal if you're going to be camped somewhere for, you know, extended periods of time. But if you're switching locations and have a, have a ways to drive, it worked out really well for me. Um, a couple more things. Um, I have a, an extra ground wire. Uh, and that is for when I'm not plugged into the truck, when I wanted to be working with things in the shop, or if I want to do things, I can ground that to something in my shop, but most of the time that extra ground wire is just tucked away, uh, taped off and not connected to anything. And then also I was a little bit worried about how hot things might get in there and so I did put a little venting in the side. Uh, that's about it. Uh, that's my really simplified electrical system for my truck camper. Uh, again, was able to power some 12 volt, able to charge from AC and able to charge from my truck while I was driving. Uh, Hope somebody's able to take something away from that and have some fun with an electrical project of your own.